This is Cambridge IGCSE, paper 0580, component 42, February, March 2016. Let's continue with question number two. In this question, use a ruler and compasses only. Show all your construction arms. The diagram shows a triangular field ABC. The scale is weight represents 50 meters. So what does that mean? Is that each centimeter in that field represents 50 meters. This is the diagram given. As you can see, A, B, C, and the scale is mentioned too, 1 cm to 50 m. I have drawn the same diagram on a separate sheet of paper so that I can show you how it's done. Let's look at the sub-questions. So, part A is construct the locus of points that are equidistant from A and B. Locus basically means the set of points. And as in part A, they ask that are equidistant from A and B. So this question means that uh, construct the set of points, as in a line, a set of points that are, e that are equidistant from A and B. They have equal distance from both point A and point B. So let's construct part A first. These are the points A and B. And we're supposed to construct a locus that are equidistant from A and B. So in this question, we would use a compass and the width of the compass should be more than the distance, half should be more than the half of the distance between A and B. And then we'll use that, we'll place one end of the compass at point A and use the pencil side of it to draw an arc. And then we'll repeat it same with point B and then those two arcs will intersect at one point and a straight line which will pass through that point will be locus. Let me show you how it's done. As you can see, the width of the compass is more than half of the distance between A and B. And then we have drawn two arms. And the locus, there is an intersection between those two arcs. And that locus will be the straight line passing through A and B. So as you can see, the arcs are intersecting at point O. I have named it as point O. And the straight line that, that is passing through this intersection is the set of points, the locus. And if you measure from point A and B, any point, it will be equidistant from A and B. Part A is done. Let's move on to part B. Construct the locus of points that are equidistant from lines A, B, and A, C. Again, locus is the set of points. And this time, instead of line, instead of it being equidistant from point A and B, it is equidistant from the lines A and B. As you can see, this line is AB and this line is AC. So the set of points that are equidistant from the line AB and AC. So in this case, firstly, we'll set the width of the compass. It should be neither too big nor too small. And then, since the common point of lines AB and AC is A. So we place one end of the compass at point A and use the pencil side to draw the arc that will pass through line AB and AC. Secondly, keeping the compass at the same width, we will draw two arcs from the intersection at point AB and at point A, from the intersection at point AB and at point AC. Same as we did in part A. So we'll place one end of the compass at the intersection, let's suppose AC, and then we'll draw an arc. And we'll repeat the same thing for the intersection at point at line AB. And now those two arcs will intersect again, as in part A scenario. And the locus that are equidistant from AC and AB will be a line, a straight line, that will be passing point A and the intersection of those two arcs. That straight line will be the locus of our part B. Let me show you how it's done. As you can see, we set the compass at a specific width and we draw an arc that passes through line AC and AB. We mark those points. And now we'll keep the length of the compass same. And two arcs will be drawn from either points. A, B, and A, C. And as you can see, these points are intersecting as well. 
the locus of these points will be a line intersecting at point A and the, and the intersection of those two arcs. So we are done with part A and B, four marks already secured. So let's move on to part C. The two loci, loci is basically the plural of locus. So the two loci intersect at the, at the point E. As we can see here, the locus of part A is this purple line and the locus of part B is this red line. And these two locus intersect at one point, which will be marked as a blue dot to represent the intersection between these two. This is this intersection between the two loci. The second line of part C, construct the locus of points that are 250 meter away from A. Second line of part C, construct the locus of points that are 250 meter from A. So first of all, we'll do the conversion. One centimeter was 50 meter. So in this case, 250 meter will be 5 centimeter. Locus again is basically the set of set of points that are 5 centimeter from E. Since it, since it is one point, so, so the locus of points will be the circle around the point E whose radius is 5 centimeter. Let me show you how it's done. Since 250 centimeter, uh, meter is 5 centimeter. We have drawn a scale of 5 meter. And now these are the three loci that we were asked to draw in part A, B, and C. Let's move on to part D now. So in part D, you're supposed to shade the region inside field E based on these two bullet points. That the shading should be more than the 250 meter from E. Now this basically means that there should be no shading inside the circle that is drawn around point E. It should be outside 250 meter range. And the second bullet point shows it should be closer to AC than to AB. So the shading area, if, if, if so we are supposed to shade that region, which is 250 meter outside E, but then it is close to AC than to AB. So let me show you how it's done. Now, as you can see here, the first bullet point mentioned that it should be outside the range of 250 meter. As you can see, there is nothing shaded inside the 250 meter radius circle or the five centimeter radius circle according to the scale. So, and the second bullet point mentioned that it should be closer to AB than to AC. So everything that was shaded in this region or in this region would, would have been closer to AB than to AC. But in our case, they mentioned that it should be closer to AC. So these two shaded areas satisfy both the bullet, bullet points. It is outside the range and it is closer to AC and AB. So this is what your final diagram will look like. I have not shaded it properly, but then you are supposed to use a pencil to shade it in the exam paper, not with any other color. And this is this will be the final shape with the shaded region of your diagram. End of question number two.